Hi everybody and thank you for joining me in my craft room. What I'm going to do today is show you how to make this two-tiered burlap ruffle wreath with the monogram letter and a burlap flower. This, um, the ruffle wreath is not an original um, idea for me, but this two-tiered one was inspired actually by my mom. She gave me an idea and I, I just went with it and now I'm going to show you how I did it. I've also uh, received several orders for this and I'm just grateful to all the customers who have purchased this from me. Okay, and I use natural burlap with it, but you can use any color burlap you want. All right, so let's get started. So here's what you're gonna need for this wreath. Obviously you will need the burlap, you will need um, 20, well, about 19 yards of this. So really you need four of these. These are five yards each. Or you can get the natural burlap that comes in um, 10 yards and you only have to buy two of those and you can get those in Michaels. Sometimes Walmart has them, sometimes they don't. But you can definitely get it in Michaels. Use the coupon though. Okay, so four of these. You will need some zip ties, some scissors, You don't need a lot for this particular wreath. This is a 12 inch, a 12 inch ring. And this, you can get this in the craft section at um, Walmart or at Hobby Lobby or uh, Michaels um, or online. Um, then you have an 18 inch one. You can use the 20 inch one as well if you want to use that and make it a little bit bigger. But I like the way the 18 inch one looks. I also used a burlap flower and, or well you can use any flower, but I used a bur burlap one. And I used a, a monogram letter and then I just painted the, I put the Mod Podge on there. Because I showed you this in my, uh, in my previous video with the AKA Sorority Wreath, how you just paint the Mod Podge on there and then you sprinkle the fine glitter on it. This is fine glitter, extra fine glitter, not just regular glitter, extra fine glitter, and let it dry and then do it again, paint over it, put the glitter, and then you'll be fine. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started on the wreath. And what, let me tell you right, let me tell you real quick what I did with the flower. I did the same thing with the flowers. I'm gonna pretend that I dipped it Get my little paintbrush. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna pretend that I dip my little paintbrush in this Mod Podge, and then I just paint it around the edges, paint it around the edge, and then I sprinkle the glitter. And I'm gonna tell you all, this thing is so amazing. This little pie tin is a lifesaver because you just you know dip my my podge. Yada, 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 yada. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, you know, let it go in there and then you do another one. And if I have time, you know, I might show you. But, you know, most of y'all are crafty, so y'all know. So, <laughs> you know, dip the paint. Yada, you know, paint around the edge. Sprinkle that glitter on there. And then, you know, just shake the excess off. And the great thing about this thing is that once you have the excess in there, you just unscrew the top. This, uh, I think I got this one in the craft section of uh, Walmart, actually. And you just turn it. I mean, you just, hold on, I've been using this. So you would just fold it. I'll do it that way so you see. You would just fold it and it slide. Yeah. This is how I've been using it. Oh, that's why. And it will just slide right on in there. You don't have a whole lot of clean, you know, stuff to do, stuff to clean up. So I thought it was a lifesaver. If you have a better way, feel free to tell me. I'm good. I'll, I'll accept that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so. I'm open this up. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we just kind of let it drop to the floor. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it under. 
just make it like a triangle or something. Take it and do it again. Fold it under. And then I just pick a space. This is one, two, three. This third space here that's closest to the middle, you're going to insert it underneath it and then fold it under. And then get your zip tie. You can use a pipe cleaner. If you don't have zip ties, you can use a pipe cleaner for this, but you will need zip ties later on. So that's why I just go ahead and use zip ties. Plus, you won't see it. So you insert it inside there so that it goes it goes um, up underneath. Okay. So you should be able to hold it like this. It's going to go up underneath it. And you just secure it. This is just for security. That's what I'm saying. You can use pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to use my scissors to cut, to cut this off. Some people use wire pliers. Okay. Whatever. Scissors. Bam. Cut that off. Cut it to the edge too because you don't want to scratch anything. All right, so there it's on there. So now what we do is you you know you got these selvage edges here, and this is what's making the ruffle. So you're going to take the one on the right side and put it in the space in this one two third space here, and then. You're going to take the left side and you're going to put it in the second one so that this line, this wire is in the middle. Okay. And then I got my thumbs here. I'm, I have my finger here. I'm holding it. And then now I'm going to scoot in a little bit closer because I usually use my body to anchor it. So I'm going to hold it and I'm just going to start to pull. Make sure that I'm pulling and, and those selvage edges are sticking out. Now, sometimes this has a mind of its own. You have to turn it. Okay. You'll have to turn it. And that's okay. And it'll, it'll do like that at first. It'll be weird at first. But then it goes by fast. It will somewhat fast. You can do this while you're watching TV. I would do this while I was watching TV or waiting on dinner to finish or Hey, honey, how was your day? You know, kids, how are you doing? You know, uh, I'm single, so I just be watching a movie. <laughs> but, you know, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just gathering. And it's only going to go so far. So I pull it as far as it can go. Now, you can't stop right now because no matter how you fluff it, try to fluff it, pull it over, you'll still be able to see this ring. So that's telling you that you need to kind of push it down and pull some more. Once you get to the point to where you fluff it out and you can't see the ring, then you'll stop. And I want to caution you. So I'm just pulling, pulling, pulling and kind of pushing it down. I'm going to fluff it up. Okay. Push it down a little bit like that. Well, I think I can do a little bit more because you don't want it to be really tight. If you, if you make it really tight it's not going to be as pretty number one and also you're going to run out of um burlap when you really didn't need to so you want to pull it pull a little bit through and then i'm just going to kind of fluff it around and see that's pretty see i can't see the ring anymore i can't see the green ring so that means i can go on to the next one so what I'm doing, I still have a little bit of space. If I pull, that's okay. I want to leave it a little loose. All right, it makes a prettier ruffle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go in this third space. I'm going to pull my selvage edge through. And I'm going to pull it on the other side, once again, where I see the green ring. And I'm just going to pull. <laughs> so I'm not going to make you all sit here and watch this whole thing. But I, I'm going to finish this. And then the next time you see me, it will be complete. And I will show. Okay. Now, what's going to happen? Let me see. I'm going to pull this through. Well, it will be almost complete because uh, five yards is not going to complete this whole thing. 
but see I'm just pulling and if you have any questions you can always uh, message me at facebook.com slash diva reads that's the little name of my little business here diva reads d-i-v-a w-r-e-a-t-h-z just send me a message I'm good and I'll, I'll answer it so if you got any questions or some of y'all are my friends y'all can just you know inbox me <laughs> all right so I'm pulling 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 let pull to on the right pull on the left pull on the right pull on the left right left right left and then you, you you'll start to get into a rhythm and um okay so let's see where this is no I can still see this ring and no matter what I do I can still see it so I'm gonna push it down some more Make sure that my selvage edge is on the outside. And I'm going to just kind of pull it. All right. There's other, there's a lot of YouTube videos on this too. So hopefully you'll like this one. But if not, you, you know, there's other ones on there. I just want you to be able to get it and make something that you like. Okay. I think that's pretty full. See, isn't that turning out so cute? Okay, so I'm going to pause the video right now. And then when we come back, um, it, it'll be more complete. Okay, so I'm back. And I'm nearing the end of my five-yard um, row. So I want to show you. What that's going to look like and show you too how it's not going to be enough to just do one 12 inch i'm turning it sometimes because it acts up and what you're really essentially going to do well let me see this is this wreath form has six sections to it like where these crossbars are that's one and this is the way it's looking on the back so you have these little poofs because of where the um, the crossbar was. Here's the crossbar. It kind of, I guess, holds it all together. But it's okay because it's just going to lay flat against the door. Okay. Alright, so we're getting to the end. Make sure you can see it. Okay. And I'm looking at the fluffiness and all that stuff. Making sure that it's fluffed. And so, really, at the end, you just let it end. Um, there's nothing you really have to do because you're at the end of it. So, so, I'm pulling it through. And there's really nothing left to pull. There's this little piece here. Cut that off. And I can just let it end right there. Okay, I don't I don't even need to put if now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again, but what, there's enough I don't need to put anything else there, so I'm going to leave it leave it at that. This is what the whole 5 yard row will get you. So you need some more to fill this space in. It takes about a yard and a half. So I'm going to pretend that, well let's say that we opened up another one. I told you this is 5 yards I have from another project. So I actually was going to make someone a wreath and she wanted it red and I bought she wanted red burlap I was like you know I don't think this is the right red and sure enough it wasn't so but it worked out because now I can use this to show you what to do and somebody who likes this can purchase it okay so I'm gonna just I just did the same thing I just went too fast I think I just went too fast I took it again I'm just starting again took it again folded it under and I went underneath the one, the space that's closer to the middle. And I curved it over. And just drop that zip tie. Okay. And then I am just putting it through the burlap ribbon here. Putting it up here. And inserting it. That sound lets me know it's tight. Cutting that off, and then now I'm gonna keep the keep it rolling because I want you to see how to end this. All right, 
so now I'm gonna just do the same thing no there's not a, it's only one section so I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna pull it right left right left right left and just kind of pull through now this doesn't take five minutes but oh what's going on with that gotta fix that okay cool Sometimes we have to make adjustments. Like this. Okay. Alright, so we're getting toward this end here. And it's going to be full enough to where I can't see. Remember, you want to do it to where you can't see. Where that came from. Okay. And if anything else fails, I'm gonna tuck that sticking out like that. That's okay. I can that's what we just tuck it in. And and keep going. Because you, you won't see it. And plus this could also be on the side, like if you find yourself, you know, oh I think I messed up, just Put that on the side where you use your flower to cover it up. <laughs> or you use your, uh, put the monogram letter on top of it, and, you know, because it's still done right. You know, but there's, we got to allow, you know, human error. Sometimes we just, ooh, uh-oh. Okay, so now it's, it's looking pretty good, right? It's looking, that's pretty. Okay, but we got to end it. So, because we're going to need this on the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off a little bit, maybe about two, two, three inches. Cut that off. And what you could do is simply tuck it. I'm going to just do that. Just tuck it underneath because it's all going to blend in. Just tuck it underneath there. If you want to, you can use a zip tie to secure it, but it's our it's pretty tight in there. So you can just leave it like that and tuck it. Maybe cut some of the edges off. But it's okay. It looks good. That's it. So when we come back, um now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the extra that you did and you're gonna do the same thing to this larger wreath and I don't want to make this tutorial too long so we're just gonna you know you fold it you want to maybe fold cut this evenly cut that little extra off it'll be okay and you cut that put it through here zip tie it and just keep going so when I'm gonna pause it when we come back we will have the two finished um, burlap wreaths Okay, so now we have the the finished large 18 inch wreath and we have the finished 12 inch wreath. And the next thing you do, I'm sure you probably already predicted it, is you will put them, and I'm pulling out some twist ties because you need these, you will put them inside of each other. Okay. Okay, now obviously they gotta they gotta hold them. So I'm gonna flip it over. And we're gonna pretend like this is a clock. So we're gonna go with the top. This will be 12 o'clock here. Let's just hold, let's get that off of there. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna take this top one. And we're going to attach it to the top one of the 12 inch. And we're going to attach it to the bottom ring of the 18 inch. So I'm going to insert it underneath it. Insert this underneath. And 
and go underneath this one. Got to be careful not to stick it into the burlap. Okay. No, let me go the other way. I'm going to go bottom into the top. That's better. Okay. And so when I do it, though, I'm going to push it in here, but I'm not going to make it too tight. I'm just going to barely put it on. You see how it's still loose? Okay, so I'm going to put it at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So here's the bottom. This is probably about, I'm trying to do, I hope I'm saying this right in relation to how this is looking to you. But, um, so this is 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And I'm going to insert inside here, lightly pull it. Now I'm going to go to 6 o'clock. Here's the top. And it's going to go into the bottom ring of the 18 inch. Okay. And last but not least, we're at 9 o'clock. And here's the top of this wreath, the small one, and it's going to go inside of the bottom. And it's going to be loose. Okay, so it's on. So then at this point, now we can start to tighten. I'm going to tighten 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Then I'm going to go pull it tighter, 12 o'clock. And this is the tightest I'm, that I have to do. I'm going to pull. Because you see you see, it's kind of shifting. Okay. Don't t pull it too tight to where it'll bow. Because I've done that before. But cut this all low so that it doesn't scratch the door or the wall wherever you decide to put it. And there is your rumple wreath. Uh, as a bonus, I said, well, let me show you. So here was, um, here's the glitter, um, flower. And I did, when I was putting this up here, I thought, well, there's another space I could actually put glitter on. So, see if I can find the space I'm going to do it on. This one. Okay. So, real quick, I'm going to take my lovely python. And I'm going to dip it here, take my paint brush, and I'm just going to paint around the edge of my beautiful burlap flower, or any flower. You can use a silk flower, whatever you got. That's fine. And then I'm going to sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Over here, and a bit, a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more coverage there. And I love this Mod Podge, how you can paint right over it. And it'll just make it better and stronger. And I'm gonna do the same thing. You do the same thing to your your uh, monogram, and then um, you know paint it and you know glitter it, and there you go. So what I would do at this point to attach it, I took. Let me just get a new one. You could glue it in there. You could take it and glue it. So, so I didn't want to make this tutorial long. Glue it wherever you want to glue it, okay? And you can do the same thing. Now, I I attached mine. I took this, I took a, a pipe cleaner and, and some a stapler, and I attached it. And I'm going to finish painting the back of it, too. But you could tie it in there. Uh-oh. Glue it out the way. Or you could just glue it on there. It just depends... I like to, um, when I'm making things for people, I like to use as le the least amount of glue as possible because sometimes people might want to change it out. Like they may want to keep this and change the flower or they may want to, you know, you know, change it, do something. So I don't, I really don't want them to have to 
pull and destroy it. But it's, you know, if you're going to leave it like that, fine. But anyway, you can take your flower, glue it on there, and bam, there you go. Uh, let me show you this one thing, though. Um, I'm going to take a red pipe cleaner. And I'm going to stick the pipe cleaner in the bottom here. If you don't want to glue it, I'll probably still put glue in here, but just for these purposes. Stick it in the bottom of there, and then I would just twist the rest of this around. So, that's the glue that's on my hand. So I would twist the rest of this around for strength. And then, it's kind of strong there, stronger. And then I would take it and I would find out where I want to put it. Like maybe if it's right here, I don't know. And then I would just uh, insert it through one of the rings and I would just wrap it around. I would wrap it around, pull it as tight as I could and wrap it around. And that way you don't have to put glitter I mean glue on your burlap okay and did my hold that right well I didn't pull that tight but y'all understand you know what I'm saying I need to I was showing you maybe I should pull a little tighter but anyhow that's what I would do pull it tight and wrap it around and there you go hope that looks good to you yeah look okay that's the end of this I hope you enjoyed it once again, hit me up on Facebook. You can leave me any comments you want to. Uh, I'm, I'm a teacher by trade. I've been doing it for 17 years, so I can take it. All right. You guys have a good one. See you next time.